we always have the same expectations. Number one is to try to be the best team we possibly can become. Uh, we are obviously off to a great start, uh, probably a little bit better than I anticipated we'd be at, at this point in the season, but the young guys have come in and done a nice job. So we want to try to compete for the Big Ten title. Uh, we obviously want to be in the NCAA tournament, and the caveat for us is knowing that uh, if we qualify for the NCAA tournament, uh, we host and we'll be in St. Paul at the XL Energy Center, which is a, a real bonus for us. So our goal is to get to the NCAA tournament each and every year and then uh, take our swing and, and see if we can be playing our best hockey at that point of the season. He's a he's a fiery coach. You know he's he's very determined. He uh, he understands the game very well. And knows exactly what he's doing, and he's just, he expects a lot out of us. Come on, Clues, move! You know Gensel kind of has this intimidation factor that you know you don't see out of a lot of coaches. But at the same time, he can uh, throw you a curveball, and you can laugh with him and have fun with him. Connor. Want to use a different stick? Yeah, he's a coach. You better watch your back because uh, you're going to get chirped probably every day. You know, whether I stop on the ice first or last, I'll get chirped for going on too early or get chirped for going on last. But uh, over the past year and a half, I've came back with some good comebacks. You know, he throws some gutless ones out there, some good ones, so you got to be ready to take them. Wayne Michelson behind the net. Uh oh, look at this pass. Oh, bitch, good save. Oh, Nate Cotton go with the high. Look at that pass. Oh, well, we're gonna save. You know, it's great to have on the bench, you know, three different personalities, you know, you need it all. And, uh, you know, Coach Gensel, he's a, he brings a fiery aspect to the coaching staff and it's great to have around. Look at Ambrose. That's been his one thing that's always stuck with me throughout the years, just how much he really does care about this program and care about all the players that come out of here. And I think that uh, if you talk to anyone, that that's the one thing they're gonna say is that, you know, Coach Gensel, while he was, you know, maybe, maybe all over you sometimes and, and, and giving it to you and, and maybe cutting a little below the belt sometimes. He's always going to be the first guy to come to, your, uh, come to your defense and help you out when you need it. Appreciate your work ethic. Let's be ready to go with second half on the 27th, and I'll see everybody here in the next seven, eight days. Okay. Step on the ice, uh, first time Mariucci was something special. I was a little nervous for the game. Um, obviously, that goalie starts leads him out. So uh, when I first stepped out, it was pretty, uh, pretty cool feeling. Um, nerves kind of went away just hearing the uh, rouser and all the fans there in the student section. But nerves went away and never had a feeling like that before. Being close to home is you know, something that's very really important to me. And uh, I made my decision after uh, I was living away from home. After my sophomore year in high school, I went to the U.S. development program in Ann Arbor. And after being away from home, I knew that I wanted to be back home for college and I wanted to go to Minnesota. Growing up in Minnesota, you always watch the Gophers and you know, they're your hometown favorite. It was just a dream of mine to play at Minnesota and throughout high school you get that opportunity to play here. It's uh, you definitely, it's a special moment and you know, it's, it's uh, definitely a dream come true. You know, just being able to put on the maroon and gold for, uh, you know, it's just been like an achievement you know, so far and uh, I've been having so much fun since I've been here and uh, hopefully we can continue on with our uh, success so far and um, you know, ultimately you know, win that one at the end. Going to Minnesota on the ice, here's Ambrose, 2-1-1, shoot it! Oh! They'll come right back, he scores! Nice. He's caught back in the attack zone, Canelada for the Gophers, catch and fire, shot, and he scores! Back down low, Rao battling, out of warning, around the net, the wraparound, stop, yeah. rebound, and score! It's Kyle Rao, burying it! Edmund Buchanan, and then it rolls out in front, Sam Curry oh. shoots and scores! The 
transition from last year to this year, uh, it's been, there's a lot of changes and a lot of things are the same. I think it's the same as our team is just as good as it was last year, if not better. We have depth throughout scoring. Uh, the confidence that our team can win games and get goals every night is uh, there just like last year. And the thing that changed is obviously the uh, players. We have a lot, a, lot, a lot of freshmen playing every night that are big time role players this year. The freshman impact has been huge so far. Hudson Fashing, I think, stepped in right before uh, Zach Gludish left off and has really been that strong physical forward that we needed uh, up at our uh, offense here. And you know, we've got a lot of small guys. We've got Gluge Camerata who are really skilled guys. And then even from the back end, we've got some defensemen that are stepping up and playing a lot of big minutes for us. So, so far, the freshmen have done a really good job at maturing and, and really stepping into college. It's a different group, a different player, a different line that kind of sets the tone every night. Uh, we've been fortunate so far. We've had a lot of scoring from our, our defensemen, and that's gone a long way of helping us to achieve the record that we have right now. I, I think that the big thing with our team right now is the balance that we seem to have night in and night out. You know, we just have fun with everything, and uh, this group's been very fun, and I think it's been uh, you know, a great start to our season so far, and uh, hopefully we can continue from here. It should be fun for us this year going to new rinks. Uh, it's my senior year, so it's kind of nice that you have something new to experience in Penn State, Ohio State. I've never been to Michigan. Uh, it's it's going to be fun for us uh, to play in those new kind of stadiums, new kind of atmosphere, and I think the Big Ten is just going to bring all those uh, all those big rallies to a new high point for us. Playing a uh, new league, uh, playing new teams, a new rink. It's a little different situation. Obviously, Penn State has a new rink, so it's going to be exciting to see that. They have a pretty nice facility at hers, so that's going to be um, pretty cool to go there and uh, play a team like that, but you can't get caught up in the ranks, you know, in the gorgeous ranks they got there because uh, we got wins to do. You know, we're expected to finish one of the top teams in the nation, and I think um, with the start we've had this year, I think that's uh, pretty reasonable, and I think, um, you know, our expectations is to be, uh, be playing come, you know, come March. Well, we get our, every team's best shot, and uh, you know that's that's something you want when you play at the end of the year. You're most likely going to get everyone's best effort, and and that's the kind of games you have to be prepared to play. So, getting everyone's best efforts all year is just going to help your team towards the end of the season.